So let me start off if, if, if you guys don't mind. So when we adopted Oracle um, a couple of years ago, uh, we were on disparate systems. And therefore we needed uh, one source of truth, a single source of truth. And Mr. Sphere was talking about it. Um, and that's why we sort of adopted Oracle. When you think about implementing uh, a tool like this, but I think my honest submission to you guys who are uh, thinking about getting into that journey would be to call itself an organization transformation. But allowing an organization to adopt a tool like this will allow you to open uh, the organization. In today's world where everyone wants personalized service, uh, we are not dealing with homogeneous set of 3,000 employees. We are dealing with heterogeneous set of employees. Everybody has a different need. Everybody comes to work for a different reason. Everybody loves to do different things. Everybody learn different, learns differently. So, so in, a, in, a, in a world which is very personalized, it's important to be as open as possible and as transparent as possible so that they pick what they need. So, so I think one of the things that helps us and, and not only in the performance space, but also in other space is, is that whole the sort of Gen AI enabled documentation, be it in performance, be it in all of that, in, in any stage of the, of the employee life cycle. Uh, so that's that's becoming very handy or will become very handy as start, people start using it. Our thing is uh, into startup. So we are basically headquartered in the US. When we look at Oracle and we have PeopleSoft as well. When we look at Oracle uh, as new for us, uh, we went to Oracle Cloud for the India unit in 2021. And uh, uh, we have HCM, we have ERP, Oracle ERP as well for the India unit. And um, that's how uh, the things start from ORC for us, ORC for the corporate users, for some contractors as well. And then we go into Core HR. And straight away we have built this uh, link with the Oracle PPM and ERP. So that's how the margins work. Whenever we hire somebody on board, we get somebody on board, we look at the gross margin, we start the assignment. So each person for us, I mean, this is the business model I'm trying to explain. Each person for us is a different assignment. Is it, we get a different purchase order from our client for each person. That's how the staffing industry works. And that's how we manage our assignments. How the person onboards, uh, how much time, because Sri Hari spoke about the time to onboard somebody. That's where AI is also coming in. So a lot of many functions that Sri Hari and India spoke about, they have a lot of relevance in recruitment, specifically impacting our industry as well. Uh, Majorly, when we match a CV, a match a resume to a job description, we write job descriptions. It, that has become easier. And uh, outside of Oracle, also we are, you know, uh, diving into AI in a lot of other tools that we are using for our recruitments. So that's where the job description, uh, the creation of it, has become easier. The matching of it with the actual opening has become easier. And that's where we want to go as a company. That's where that's the goal that we want to achieve as a company. How better to use these tools provided by Oracle uh, to uh, look at how AI, Gen AI, can help us achieving our goal faster, doing better margins in lesser time. Uh, time is of the essence, right? So that's where I think we are targeting. Uh, just to give a uh, background about our bank. Uh, we started as a Swedish movement uh, 120 years back and uh, we are technologically very sound I can probably say uh, because we were uh, first in adopting many of the AI based uh, technologies and IoT companies to launch uh, products for the customers. So coming to uh, HR, in fact uh, to be honest I been from IT background before and uh, coming back to bank uh, I, I was working with uh, SAP HR and uh, uh, work day. So I was thinking whether really HCM will suit bank because always banking is a bit complex compared to any other uh, organization being in the IT or uh, manufacturing or any sector. I don't know whether I'm right. <laughs> you're a very, right. <laughs> you're a very because, easy business. Very yeah. easy business. People make money. So we need to you know uh, have multiple components. Maybe she was maybe you know struggling with me for a uh, for some time. <laughs> Asking for very unique requirements. 
thanks to Kohei and last one, one and a half years we have been associating with them. Of course, we implemented the LMS in 2021 and HCM, and then we adopted Core HR. And, uh, we were uh, implementing with a uh, different partner, but I think uh, we started all again, you know, by uh, doing a re-implementation with Core HR. It was a successful journey. And uh, we did automation with RPA for many of the areas within IT and within the organization. I think now there is potential to automate many other uh, you know functions of HR using HCM and uh, uh, other tools. So I think NA is going to be very interesting. We are also evaluating for our other business areas. So probably HR is another one. HR normally people don't give much importance in, especially in sector like banking. So automating HR process, I think. That's so, why I said you're an early adopter of HCM Cloud, sir. Yes. Because um, you are very exclusive in having your HR data, especially banking with an Oracle on the cloud. They have been early adopters. Like, like both of you said, uh, we've also had uh, other uh, providers that, uh, that uh, you know, held our hands and tried taking us through the garden path. They couldn't. Uh, for their reason, our reason, whatever the reason is, uh, I think the outcomes were not what, what it was meant to be. And uh, uh, Ryan could do it. Uh, we have a fantastic relationship with them. They understand us. They understand our business. Um, uh, and they're generally a nice set of people. Unique things, you know, which uh, we need from HR. So those things we could not achieve with uh, Oracle, but I think Ryan helped us, uh, you know, integrating uh, our intranet, uh, you know, internal system. With the, with the Oracle HCM, I think that was a good one. I think with Oracle Fusion, um, I think it's it's modular enough, flexible enough to be able to meet most of your sensible asks. Uh, and I'm saying sensible because a lot of nonsensible, if that's the word, um, ask also comes from our business leaders, our HR leaders. I, I don't want to put myself away from the problem. Um, so I think it's 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 modular enough and flexible enough for you to meet. There are enough fields available to be able to play around and add a new field, a new radio button, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want, whatever you need, kind of stuff. And then finally, you have the Kovayan team. In, in in our case, they are co-located, uh, so you can grab somebody by the collar and get them done. I'm just kidding. Uh, most of them, most of them, most of them are women, so you can't do it. Anymore. <laughs> Very sweet, good-looking women. So you can't do that anyway. Uh, but yeah, they are they are working with us as part of our extended team, and therefore they understand the challenge, uh, and therefore they and and they are working in a in a in an agile mode. They are working together with us, so they are not going to create something and then two days later we figure out it's not working kind of stuff. They are working with us, so that helps us to sort of get to the solution or get to the answer faster, quicker, better than most.